Good morning! It is Magnus Helbig here in Los Angeles on January 5th, 2012. And it is a beautiful morning as we enter into the opening shot in Simi Valley. Uh, what's the temperature today, Scott? I'm asking my co pilot here. Yeah, co pilot says 63. It is 63 degrees, and look at this shot. almost desert landscaping anyway it's a beautiful day in LA and uh, again this is uh, my daily dashboard update on January 5th I'm here with Scott comedy and we are talking about some news in the home sale department today along with a couple of other things so Scott what's your take on that report that came out you know I want to read the whole report but uh, certainly encouraging to me to see a 19 month high uh, in pending home sales, um, that's very, very, very good news. That means that, um, you know, before when we had the tax credits for people, the $8,000, uh, people saw the, the tangible incentive to go buy a house. Well, that's been gone now for over a year, and people are starting to relax back into buying a house. So having a 19-month high, that's a very good thing. That's my take on it. Yeah, you were also talking about some trend in uh, in Texas about uh, people squatting other people's homes. Yeah, you know, I saw that this morning uh, on the news, and it, it's not a new trend, but I, I guess it's a little more rampant now than it used to be. In Texas, they seem to have almost an organized movement of squatters. They will look for a house that um, looks like it's vacant, looks like maybe it's been abandoned. You know, oftentimes when someone goes into foreclosure, they don't wait until they're evicted. They just leave their house, they walk away, and they leave it empty. Well, squatters move in. But in this case, they're not just doing it to the vacant, abandoned, distressed homes. Uh, they're doing it to homes where people go on vacation, they're just out of town, and squatters move in, and they go to the courthouse, and they file some squatters' rights claim for $16, and they try to say that they have a right to be there. Now, the police say absolutely not. It's completely illegal, but it's so rampant they can't even keep up with it. Um, so that is a, that's a good warning to us. If you're going on an extended vacation, don't just lock your house and go. Have somebody swing by every few days and check on it and make sure everything looks normal. These horror stories have been around for years, and I had a situation a few years ago in West Hollywood where um, squatters tried to move in as my termite company was putting the tent on the house. Luckily, they would not let them in and they got me on the phone and we realized it was not the buyers that were trying to move in, it was squatters with a moving van. So keep an eye on that, that's a big concern these days. Well, that's good information, Scott. Keep, have somebody look at, drive by your house, keep a look at it while you're gone. Like your trusted local realtor, for instance. Yes, indeed. This is Magnus Dutt Helberg at ThePartnersTrust.com signing off for my daily dashboard update on January 5th, 2012, Los Angeles. Gorgeous, beautiful Los Angeles. Have a fantastic Thursday as we're nearing the end of the week and the football playoff season. Goodbye. Is that American football or is that that uh, pseudo-European, we call it football, but it's not football, football? Uh, that is NFL that's what I'm talking about. Real football. Real football. Nice. Take care, LA. Have a great day, and thanks for watching. Goodbye.